Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be telling you about the first and so far the only time my PlayStation 5 has crashed. I don't mean bricked or anything, I just mean crashed. And so far this is the only time I've had a problem with my PS5, which I'm very thankful for. Um, but to start off the story, I got it day one delivered from Amazon and got it all set up and I started Astro's Playroom, had a playthrough of that, and then once I was done with Astro I went to Spider-Man Miles Morales and I went through that game, and when I was done for the night, I put my PS5 into rest mode while Spider-Man Miles Morales was still on my screen, so that was placed in the background uh, while it was in rest mode. And the next day when I got up to play, I turned it back on, and it was already on Spider-Man Miles Morales, which is a great thing about rest mode for the PS5. Um, and I kept playing from there, it was fine. And I got to the point where I was at one of the last cutscenes in the game, and at one point the screen just froze, and I assumed it was going to just jump forward a couple seconds when it was when it figured itself out, but it didn't. After freezing for a couple seconds, the screen went black and my PS5 just shut off, which was a bit concerning, obviously. And I went up and tried to hit the power button to turn it back on. Nothing happened. A little bit more concerning. And after a couple seconds, I tried the power button again and it worked. So the PS5 booted itself back up and then it said repairing system storage for a few seconds. And I didn't have time to read everything else that was on that screen because that screen was only up for a handful of seconds. And after that, it went to a different screen that said a problem occurred in the system software the last time your PS5 was used. And then it asked me if I wanted to report the problem. So I put in a short description of what happened and sent the report. So once I got back to the PS5 home screen, once I sent the report and everything launched fine, I selected Spider-Man Miles Morales again and went to the title screen of the game. And from there I hit continue. And from continue, it just started that same cutscene over from the beginning and went through just fine. So thankfully there was no uh, corrupted storage or corrupted save files or anything. I didn't lose anything. Uh, my PS5 just crashed and I had to reboot it and everything was generally fine, um, aside from the crash itself, which is uh, fortunate and it could have been a lot worse. And again, the PS5 said it was a problem with the system software, so it was on the PS5 side, not because of Miles Morales. And a lot of people have been having problems with Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man Miles Morales, and I've heard Assassin's Creed Valhalla too. Most of the reports I've seen have been about Spider-Man Remastered. Um, I, so I don't know if it's both the Spider-Man games mainly having these issues with rest mode, but uh, another piece of info I've heard about it is that it's the PlayStation 5's rest mode uh, mainly causing this problem where if you have a game currently running and you put it, your PS5 into rest mode while the game is up still, um, that is what can potentially cause the problem. And I... Personally, I haven't seen Sony address this or acknowledge it very much. Uh, I've heard a couple other people say that they've heard Sony discouraging people from using rest mode um, in light of this issue um, that could potentially be much, much worse than my situation was. And what I've done uh, after this happened is I've not really used rest mode or um, when I have, I have save my games, close them completely, and then just plug my controller in and put it into rest mode just so I can charge my controller because I don't have the charging stand yet. But I, for now, am holding off on using rest mode while a game is still running in the background, which is unfortunate because that is one of my favorite features of uh, Xbox One PS4 generation going into this now current generation is the fact that you can put your system to sleep or in rest mode and then as soon as you turn turn your console back on your game is right there paused where you left off you don't have to boot it back from the title screen you don't have to load any saves or anything like that so it's unfortunate i am refraining from using rest mode for now um but at the same time uh for next gen consoles ps5 and the xbox series x and s it's not as big of an issue as it would be on the previous gen because they have ssds and Loading the games up from scratch does not take that long, so it's not that big of a deal. Like, if I go into Miles Morales or Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, from uh, my PS5 being completely off, it takes uh, not even a minute for sure, maybe like 30 seconds, if that, to get back into my game. So I'm not that worried about it, but I do want to hopefully see a fix for this very soon so I can use the feature anyway. 
So for now, I would just advise other PS5 owners to do the same and just refrain from putting your PS5 into rest mode while a game is running for now. I mean, if yours isn't having any problems with it, then it's probably fine. Um, this is probably not a few isolated because it's been talked about a lot. So it's, I don't know, maybe there's 50% of PS5s out there having this problem. But if you aren't worried about it, then I mean, go ahead. That's fine. Uh, just personally, I get a little paranoid about that. So I don't want to lose any save progress or have to reinstall games or have anything worse happen with my PS5. So for now, I'm going to refrain from using rest mode while a game is running in the background. Um, that's what I would advise for now until we see a fix from Sony on this. But for now, uh, me and the people that do this just enjoy the speed of the SSD and booting games from scratch, I guess. Let me know in the comments if you've had similar issues or other ones with your PS5. I'm kind of getting a gauge as to what the main issues are with the PS5 since it just launched, so we are having uh, multiple issues like this that haven't been resolved yet. Or even if you've had problems with your Xbox Series X or your Series S, let me know in the comments below also. I want to get more of a feel for what kind of problems we're having here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more gaming content from me, and hit me up on Twitter to talk more about games at TheOnlyRush. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.